<clears throat> see here. I am not anti anything, really. Um, I am, however, pro think for yourself. And I guess I'm anti if everyone else is jumping off the bridge, jump off with them kind of thing. I am pro make decisions that feel right to you. And don't come at me for making my own decisions that feel right for me just because it goes against your decisions. And if we really are going to get technical with this whole thing, my caveat, my what throws me off is the fact that this is keeping us all on the level of the physical body. And if we're going to get scientific about it, if we're going to start throwing out facts and information and studies, then my question is, why aren't we throwing out the fact that everything that's happening on the physical body, on the level that we can see, taste, touch, smell, why aren't we showing and, and you know distributing that information that actually proves that once it's become a physical thing, it is in due part by something that's happened on a more non-physical level or even a very subtly, subtly, subtly physical level. This is stuff that science is now showing, right? We've got the cause and effect backwards. So for someone to tell me to put a mask on my face, you know, to uh, prevent something, in my most humble of opinions, is missing the whole fucking point. And it is a very, 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 very small and borderline insignificant detail of everything that is going on. My question is, if you want me to dabble in your world, then I would expect at least that to go both ways, that respect level, which I will say I have dabbled in that world. I did wear it for a little bit. And then I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I know better. Uh, my thing is, why are we not distributing information like studies by people like Joe Dispenza? who have dedicated decades of their life, their time on this planet, to studying brain and heart coherence. Or for example, Joe Dispenza is a neuroscientist, an epigeneticist, and a quantum physicist. He's known as the modern day mystic because he is now actually bridging the gap. He is proving through science what the mystics and spirituality, whatever you want to call it, has been trying to convey to us for millennia. Science is just kind of catching up to what, you know, people in the spiritual realms, what these mystics, what, what these master metaphysicians have known and been trying to tell us, been trying to get through the thick skull of humanity for a long time. And one of the things that um, Joe Dispenza talks about is what happens when we're in a state of gratitude versus a state of fear. And he has actually studied for all of those science loving people out there. He has studied how when we are in a state of immense gratitude, our heart valves actually expand and our bodies release what's known as hemoglobin. It is actually, in his words, uh, been proven to be much more effective than any flu vaccination that we can get. So crazy to think that our body could actually, you know, like provide us with what we need. <laughs> crazy to think that. And that he's also proven and he's shown through science that when we are in a state of distress, when we are in a state of fear, when we are in a state of anger, that the, the opposite actually happens and our heart valves contract. 
And so our bodies are releasing less of that natural defense mechanism, less of that immunity boost. And we be actually would become then more susceptible to outside influences. Why aren't we like spreading more of this? You know, like do, okay, this might be going on, but do the best you can to stay happy. Do the best you can to be grateful. Do the best you can to be in a positive mental, emotional, spiritual state because that's going to help you. My thing is we're keeping this on the surface level, right? Which is not going to fix anything. And I actually have a lot of people in a lot of cool fucking places, including the medical industry. I know a lot of nurses and all types of sex of, you know, hospitals and whatnot. And yeah, they have said that numbers have increased in terms of how many patients they're seeing. But a lot of that doesn't actually have to do with the word that will not be muttered on my channel. And it actually has to do with just about everything else you can imagine. Suicides. Abuse. All these other things that have been, you know, shown and proven and, and proven, whatever that means, uh, to be effects of high levels of stress. You know, losing your job, not being able to, you know, know what's around the corner, provide for your family. That's actually why the hospital cases are increasing because we're missing the point of it all. It's adding stress, right? <clears throat> we're, in a, we're in states of immense stress and spiritual disconnection, emotional disconnection. Now we're being told we can't hang out with people, which, you know, there were studies at some point on newborns. I'm pretty sure it was maybe orphans that showed the effects of what happened when a newborn wasn't touched for the first month of their life. They died from lack of touch, from lack of human connection. If that doesn't say something about what's really important and why I'm so fiery and why I am just so upset with the state of things right now, with the state of the mainstream, um, if this isn't enough, explanation why I would be a little bit upset, why there's a lot of people a lot upset right now, then I don't know what else it's going to take to get through to some people. And maybe that's not what it's about. But I am not anti anything. I am pro go in, go into yourself, close your eyes, go breathe, go out in nature and tune in to what actually feels right for you. This is not to prove a point to anyone. This is me doing what feels right to me, regardless if you understand why. Regardless if it's going to create a little bit more difficulty on my path. Maybe on this level. But on higher levels, your girl is doing great. And even on this level, we're doing real good. I'm pro question what's actually going on. I am pro think for yourself. Don't do it because it's what everyone else is doing. Don't do it because it's the easy thing to do. What actually feels right? Do that. Much love, Star Family.